It's a quiet afternoon at Shrek's house, his beloved and dear home, the swamp. He is alone in his swamp with no one to bother him with his plans for the remainder of the day. How comfortable I feel today. It's a perfect afternoon. A relaxing afternoon sitting in my chair. Watching the Witcher series or Netflix, it couldn't be better. I don't need anything or anyone else, I mean magical beings in need of friendship, and specifically a certain annoying equine in particular. Suddenly the TV signal is lost. What happened? The TV doesn't work. Damn it. Does everything have to happen to me? Shrek goes up to the roof of the swamp to see what the problem is. It must be the antenna that is failing. Luckily, I am a person who with patience and dedication knows how to repair things. Ha! <laughs> huh. It's done. Fixed up. It's like new. Shrek, after painstakingly repairing his internet antenna, goes down again to sit in his comfortable armchair. Hey, what the hell? What are you doing sitting in my chair? Who invited you to come to my swamp? Shrek, without waiting for it, finds that his friends have come to his house who are also sitting in his armchair. Hi Shrek, I've called them. It's Donkey, the great friend that Shrek would like never to see again in his F life. Shrek annoyed and pissed off as is common for him, recriminates Donkey. Why have you come? Why have you invited people to come to my swamp? I haven't given you permission. This is my house, Donkey. My property. You have to ask me for permission to do anything. Calm down Shrek. I thought it would be fun to spend an afternoon watching chill Netflix with friends. Don't you agree? Shrek isn't overly convinced of Donkey's coherent and socially reasonable arguments. Not only that, there is something else that also infuriates Shrek even more. Damn it, Donkey. You have also drunk from my favorite mug, the one from Game of Thrones. And you haven't used the coaster. You've smeared the entire table with drinking circles, which I hate. Calm down, Shrek. Relax my friend. Donkey then gives him a motivating speech on self-improvement and personal development. You want to be as always without experiencing anything new, you don't want discomfort in your life. What you need is to get out of your comfort zone, Shrek. You have to let new things in your life, even if you assume that things don't turn out as you expected. Even if it means feeling uncomfortable. But this is how you enjoy life and grow. Quoting the psychologist Raphael Santandru, a healthy life is a sporty and lively life where discomfort makes us stronger, more interesting and happy. As he explains, you need to achieve a high tolerance for frustration, which is having the ability to be fine, even if things don't turn out the way you expected. This will give you great emotional strength. After this speech, Donkey proposes an activity that isn't usually to Shrek's liking. Come join me in the following. Let's go jogging. I don't want to jog. I know, but it's what you need. You may feel awkward at first, but you will see that after doing it, you will feel better. Always living comfortable does not bring anything new into your life. You need to get out of your comfort zone, live new adventures and experiences. That will make you feel alive and you will attract good things into your life. Practice your tolerance for frustration. Let's go jogging, Shrek. Damn donkey, how you like to always mess with me. And what other option do you have? Moments later, Shrek pays Gerald of Rivia from the Witcher a large quantity of gold coins. This is one of the best purchases of my life. All who have needed my services hunting creatures have been satisfied. The truth is that hunting this creature has been quite easy. Tell me, Mr. Ogre, what was so terrible that it did you that you needed my services as a beast hunter? He told me to go jogging. Understand. Damn Shrek, you only know how to get mad. You're still alive? Sure, I'm a magical being. I can live being just ahead. Support this channel on Patreon, subscribe and visit the other Super Coloroid channel in Spanish. After this, can you take me home, Shrek? Above here I begin to feel cold. No, better not. This is how you practice your high tolerance for frustration. Regardless of the humorous part of the animation, I hope you find the message of learning to be more tolerant of life's discomforts useful. Greetings and like the video.